Hello and welcome again. As you can see, the outpost liaison has arrived. That means that the trade caravan is also here. So I'm going to end uh, this part of this video and then uh, I will uh, show in the next video the trade caravan. So let me just round up the situation as it is right now. So what I've done is I built uh, most of the crafting workshops, steel kitchen, farmer's workshop, but also uh, a quern. The quern is needed to mill certain plants. I also began my clothing industry with the loom and the clothier shop, and of course the clothes uh, stockpile. I also started uh, leatherworks and a tenor shop and I have some butcheries and I also have a trade depot building a trade depot is necessary in order to uh, make sure that uh, the, the caravan can actually uh, unload its goods and trade with you after you build the trade depot you can press capital D and you can see whether or not your depot is reachable so it should be fine. Uh, another thing is that I built uh, a pasture. Pasture is a, an activity zone that you build by uh, pressing uh, I. You, do, uh, you design a zone and then you make it a pen or a pasture by pressing N. If you press capital N, then you can choose which animals to put in this pasture. But I don't really want these animals, so I'm going to butcher this buffalo calf. It came with one of the migrants. And I started making some uh, stone crafts. There are a few more things that I want to show you that you can do in the game. Uh, the first one is nobles. You can choose a noble. I will have to select a broker. And it just happens to be that uh, one of them has to have uh, the appraiser skill. So my expedition leader is an adequate appraiser, so I'm going to choose him as my broker. I'm also going to need a bookkeeper. And uh, a manager. He will need an office. So I already built uh, a, a table and a chair. And also a bed. And then I will uh, assign this to the to the manager. So now I have a manager and a bookkeeper. It's the same person but it doesn't matter. You can change the setting to the highest precision and once you have done this then you can use the manager. Uh, I'm not sure I don't use it that often but uh, I'll come back to that later. Then one more thing that I wanted to show is that you can build um, a danger room. Now this is a bit of a spoiler, so if you don't want to be spoiled then you probably uh, should just end the video right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to build some traps that allow you to train your military really really fast. So you build a it like this 
you have to build four upright spears traps Then you have to connect them all to a lever, but uh, I'll come back to that later because I'm not done with that yet. I still need a few more spares. So this is the end of this video. In the next part I will be uh, showing you how to trade and probably some other things as well. So I'll see you there. Hello again and welcome to this video uh, about Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. In this video I'll be showing you how to trade. The outpost liaison has arrived in my fortress and he wants to know what items that I need for the caravan of next year. You can choose whatever items you want or need. I personally like to request uh, some specific animals. as well as um, some anvils. The anvils are useful for melting but also just to have them. It saves you a lot of uh, metal if you don't have to make them. And trading is it's really easy to get enough value to trade for this item. So I'm going to go for animals that lay eggs. This will allow me to uh, start the the egg industry. And I might also have some dogs to train for war dogs. Not very useful, but why not? So I think I'm happy with that. trade caravan is still on the way to my fortress uh, they're now unloading the goods so yeah I can look uh, what I just ordered and now they will tell me what items that they value okay so you have to uh, press Q and then move your courses to trade depot and then press G and we're going to move our crafts to the trade depot. one more finished goods um, bin but I don't know why it's not mentioned under crafts it's a bit strange I have to search for the manual
Well, there is a thief, but I don't have an army yet. I dug out this area to train my miners because this is a sandy soil or or whatever it is it's it mines very fast and it allows your miners to train their skills very quickly so the cobalt is dead but he didn't leave any any armor or anything if he did it would probably be forbidden and then you can reclaim it like this by pressing D, B and then C. So I'm going to request my trader and I'm gonna see if I still can move my yeah, now I can move it. So let's see what um, my broker is doing. He's digging. at the stocks to see how many plants we have. Not many. What's my uh, what's my manager doing? Not much apparently. So you see how fast this was mined out. I'll designate some more once my uh, my broker is uh, done trading. Because if I designate more digging, then he will just start digging again. Yeah, now it's coming. So now I can designate. Another useful thing to know is the usage of barrows. I currently have two b uh, different barrows, one for my mason and one for my carpenter. This is done so that they don't use any other stones except the ones in, in his uh, area. Otherwise he just runs in across the map to find stones to make an item. And that's absolutely not desirable. But when you put them in a barrel, then you can you can decide uh, which stones that he must use. So now I'm gonna trade. If you have uh, a broker with the appraiser skill, then you can see the value of your items. This is very useful to know how much you can get from the trader. So let's see what he has. Some ropes, water skins, 
some toys barrels, buckets weapons armor some dice, some banks various kinds of banks clothes bins and letter bins Bolts, anvils. I'm gonna take all these anvils. Very good. And some other junk, cheese, and what's not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take all the cloth and all the leather, and I'm going to turn them into more materials more wealth uh, also to trade them for the next caravan so let's see if he accepts this trade I think I'm happy with it no, it's too much So let's remove the expensive bin. Let's try again. There we go. And this is everything that I will get from this trade caravan. The next time I will have much more items to trade and uh, I will be able to get much much more. So that's what you need to do, you have to build a trade depot, make sure it's accessible, make sure that you have a, a broker in your noble menu, make sure that he has the uh, appraiser skill, otherwise he will learn it uh, after doing a few trades, but it's much e uh, better if you have it right at the beginning of the game, it's very useful. And uh, I think that uh, pretty much wraps it up. So I'll uh, just continue for a bit longer and uh, maybe I'll see you later.